Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samuel Alvarez and I'm a freshman, or was a freshman, at the University of Alabama. I actually just finished my freshman year this morning. So super excited, summer break is finally started. But before I left the university for the year, I thought that I would do a little dorm tour of Ridgecrest West. And this will be a two part series. One will be like the actual building and then the second part will be actually inside of my dorm. Stay tuned if you want to see that. So this is Ridgecrest West and Ridgecrest East is right beside us and they're basically the same building, same layout, same floor plans, all the same stuff. So I'm in Ridgecrest West but this applies to Ridgecrest East too. So come along with me. <laughs> You get in by scanning your Axe card on your mobile device and the doors will open for you and then you walk in. Alright, so right here is the front desk. It's never open. If you come down here, here is the vending machine room and you have a few different recycling bins. Um, and you can pay for things using your Bama Cash. Not the same as dining dollars. Bama Cash you have to actually put into your account using your own money, um, but you can pay for it using Bama Cash or maybe regular cash. Yeah, you can use cash too. And then in here is just really just a meeting room. And you can see there's a dry erase board. And before we head up to some of the higher floors, I'm going to take you up to the back where you can see some things that are all back. This is really nice. So come up here. You know this? Area. Tables that you can sit at. There's a grill over here. It's probably not the most handy grill, but it's a grill. And then also there's a beach volleyball area over there, plus this beautiful grass area. It's gated in, so you don't have to worry about coyotes coming and eating you. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a really pretty place out here. And to get back in, you have to scan your act card again. To get in any door, you have to scan your app card. So rest be sure you are completely safe in here. Nobody can get in. On the second and third floor are the laundry rooms and the kitchens. Um, this, this is what the kitchen looks like. You have these pretty big old school boxy TVs in both of the kitchens. You have these tables everywhere, some couches. You have a stove, an oven the ventilator thing, I don't know what it's called. Sink, trash can, microwave, uh, full-size fridge. Some people have left some stuff in here. That's pretty much it for the kitchen. And then if you cross the hallway, then you have one of the laundry rooms. I think there's nine. I don't know where I just came up with that number from. There's several washing machines and dryers in here. Uh, just like the vending machines, you pay for these using Bama Cash, not dining dollars, obviously. I can't really remember how much it is. Do you know how much it is? Is it three dollars to wash, three dollars to dry? Uh, one fifty for each. One dollar and fifty cents to wash, and one dollar and fifty cents to dry. Hey guys. So now we're up on the third floor. Here we have a ping pong table and some more recycling bins. These are just for paper and plastic. So the aluminum ones are down on the ground floor. These are just paper and plastic. You have another laundry room in here, pretty much identical to the last one. And then uh, this is the kitchen that I usually come to um, just because it's on the third floor and I live on the fourth floor. Same thing, pretty much box TV over there. Uh, there's not a couch, not really as many tables, but same thing over here. Counter, fridge, microwave, oven, stove, ventilator, whatever it's called. Fun fact about this kitchen right here that's coming off the wall. That's totally not my fault. Hey, no. <laughs> you just push the thing down. Look, you just kind of <gasps> Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then also on the second and third floor, I'm pretty sure, you have these kinds of study rooms where it has several cabinets for no apparent reason, honestly. Another dry erase board, a table. You can sit at and study. A wheelchair if you need one. Right. And then um, also on each floor, there are several nooks. 
I think that's the right word. Like just areas where you can come and chill out, hang out with people. I'm not really sure. All right, and now on to the fourth and final floor. Once again, you have just like a study area in here, another area with chairs so you can chill out with. This is the trash room. Pretty sure there's a trash room on each floor. It is very filled up right now, as you can see, just because today's move out day. So everybody put their trash there. I promise you, it's not usually that dirty. Usually there's nothing in there. At least at Rich Coast West, the janitors here are super, super friendly, super nice, and do a great job. I know for sure on the fourth floor, pretty sure on the first floor too, you have like a big living room area. It has a flat screen TV with an HDMI output input one it is where you can plug an HDMI cord into your computer and put anything up there plus it has regular TV lots of couches seating areas plug outlets it's really a great hangout place there's always people in here um, just hanging out having fun playing games together and then once again you have this bigger nook area is that even the right word nook stupid more vending machines. The snack machines are down on the first floor, but there's drink machines on the fourth floor. Another little study area. Fun fact about this study room. I've done so many assignments in this room, it's not even funny. Um, it's very quiet, see look. You have like the white noise of the air conditioning unit going on. It's a pretty solid room. Also, the lights work. I just haven't been turning all the lights in rooms, but lights work everywhere. Um, you got some water fountains. Once again, another little nook area. I don't know why all the blinds are closed. I can't stand dark rooms. And then on both sides of the building, both that way and that way, you have a long hallway of all the actual dorm rooms which we'll get to in the next video. I know uh, these two videos have been very long awaited. So sorry, it took me literally nine months to make these videos. <laughs> Better late than never, I guess. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video of Retrust West or East because I'm pretty sure it's the same building. And uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And stay tuned for the actual dorm room tour that I'll be giving in the next video. Jesus loves you and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.